Kara, so um, obviously uh, Super Netball season finished for you on Sunday, um, but got a Diamonds campaign to look forward to. Um, how are you feeling about getting in the squad again? Yeah, yeah, very excited. Obviously bitterly disappointed and we've just gone through a little team review this morning and um, we were obviously on the brink of a lot of good things this year, um, right on the edge of that top four. So yeah, very disappointed to finish up early and not um, have a finals campaign here at Lightning. But um, with the squad announcement, super excited to lift our eyes, I guess, to what the next month holds um, in a diamond's land and preparing as best as we possibly can for the World Cup. I was trying to remember, did you play in the last World Cup? No, I didn't. So this will be this your first one. This will be one. my first time. So how's that? How do you feel about that? Yeah, extremely excited. I mean, any opportunity to put on a diamond dress is an absolute honour and a privilege. And um, yeah, my phone call uh, with Stacey about selections this time around was no different to any other in that I was very, very nervous. Um, <laughs> extremely nervous and shaky as my phone rang, but um, obviously completely overwhelmed with emotion as she delivered the news. and. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited. We've got, I think, an exciting, a really exciting group. Um, we're super connected and um, all, I think, very much on the same page heading into um, what we hope will be a very successful World Cup campaign. Were you always confident you'd done enough to stay in the team? Um, absolutely not. I think that the com like the landscape of Australian netball at the moment is super competitive and um, there were a lot of really strong performances throughout the year from a lot of Australian talent. Um, a lot of girls putting their hand up and putting their best foot forward. So um, you never rest on your laurels, I don't think. Um, and yeah, again, always very, very nervous waiting for that call. But um, yeah, very, very excited for the opportunity and the honour for sure. And we were, you know, we were all sitting there with anticipation, waiting for the team to come out. But obviously, there was some contractual stuff that the ladies needed to deal with. Um, were you just happy when all that was finally over and the team got announced? Yeah, absolutely. I think we were all just waiting with bated breath. Obviously, it was um, at the end of round 13 that we were due to find out. So we'd already waited many, many weeks um, in anticipation for it to come around. So. Um, yeah, it was great that they were able to come to some sort of agreement and um, yeah, that we can really like, switch our focus into um, performance mode and um, yeah, lift our eyes to that World Cup. In South Africa, it's obviously going to be hard to win this World Cup. Now, New Zealand are the reigning world champions and with Nolene at the helm, as you know, they're going to be very well prepared. They're actually preparing here on the Sunshine Coast. So are they maybe... Are they just the quiet danger, just sneaking below the surface there in New Zealand? Yeah, well, I think that Nolene hasn't been shy about um, oh, saying that this, the last year and a half, has been her build towards this World Cup. So um, I think that she's been working um, very, very hard in the background, obviously has selected her team as well. And um, But I think that in terms of international netball, you've got so many great teams. Um, the wild card in Jamaica, um, as well as England, who... Um, haven't, I guess, been as successful as they probably have, would have wanted to in the previous 12 months. So, yeah, I think that everyone's coming out um, to put out their best foot forward and to, to win that gold medal and hold up the trophy at the end of the day. So it's, it's a very exciting time for international netball. I think there'll be a lot of really close games, a lot of really good games. So, um, yeah, we'll have to bring our best for sure. Uh, Steph, um, congrats on obviously making the Diamonds team again. Um, there was obviously a lot they had to get through before it was announced. It was delayed by a few weeks. Were you happy that that team just finally came out? Definitely. Um, I think everyone in the squad just wanted to know what position they would be in. And leading into uh, the final round, I think we were lucky that the finals, uh, for fin the top four had been um, kind of solidified already. So, yeah, it was great to find out um, what position and then plan forward to what the World Cup will be. Yeah. And... Um, just on the World Cup, as I asked um, Kara, um, New Zealand, obviously, they're the reigning world champions. Nolene's no mug coach. He's going to have them ready to go. I mean, uh, are they one of a few teams that you're really looking at going, they're going to be hard to beat? For me, New Zealand is... Um probably the team to beat for myself. Uh, I think Knowles knows how to get her team peaking at the right time. She did it last time when the, uh, f uh, the Ferns walked away from a Com Games finishing fourth, first time they ever hadn't medalled, and then within 12 months of her getting the job, she'd got a gold medal at the World Cup. So she is a mastermind of a coach. She knows how to get her players and her team performing at the right time. So they are, for me, um, a formidable opponent that I think are going to be really, really tough when we come to World Cup. And there was a really good Constellation Cup series with them recently too, where you had to dig really deep to win that series as well. Uh, Constellation Cup showed that when you don't 
meet them. We hadn't met them at Com Games and it was the first time that we actually didn't play them in a major tournament. Um, what they showed and they came out in those first two games and especially that first game of Constellation Cup and they shocked, they massively shocked us. So uh, yeah, they are a team, a formidable team and when you get into a World Cup you can't afford, you know, you can't wait for game three. You've got to be able to perform the first time you meet any team. <laughs> um... Obviously, there's a you know there's a Super Netball final series to be played before the Diamonds get together, and then there's going to be a lot of talk about who's playing next year. And when do you sort of want to sit down and make a decision on whether or not you're coming back to the Lightning next year? Oh, look for me. Um, my focus is on World Cup, and I want to be um, performing there. Uh, I'll lift my eyes when we're able to uh, make a decision on. Uh, contracts for next year, but for me at the moment is putting all my focus into performance until we can make those decisions. Yeah, so is that, uh, does that ball Australia have to give the okay today? Is that what has to yeah, happen? Yeah, so at the moment, that um, because they're eighth last and it hasn't been announced, no contracts can be signed. You can have conversations within your own club, but you can't um, have conversations with other clubs. So yeah, but for me, massive focus is World Cup, and I don't want any sort of distractions at the moment. So for me, it's we start training tomorrow with. Uh, the Queen, I feel the Queensland Firebirds, and uh, that's my focus. And you're looking forward to being in that leadership role with the Diamonds again. Obviously, you're captain of the Lightning, vice captain of the Diamonds. So you seem to love sort of taking that leadership role on. Do you enjoy it at the national level as well? What I think is really great about our Diamonds environment at the moment is we have leaders everywhere, and we talk about shared ownership a lot. And uh, I think the girls in the team actually make Lizzie and I's job quite easy. Um, we perform very, very well together. So I really enjoy that leadership role, but there's a massive shared ownership. It can't be left up to two players to um, drive standards. It's something, it's the whole squad that needs to do that. So uh, I enjoy it, but yeah, the, the rest of the squad definitely make it easy for Lizzie and I. And just finally, looking back from the background now that you're not in finals, I mean, who do you think is the team to beat? I mean, do you think the Swiss should be the favourites? Uh, personally, Swifts for me, they've been consistent all year, they've had close games, they've known how to win those games, so I'm tipping yeah, Swifties to probably take the uh, Super Nipple out.